Okay, honey, I'm recording. Are you? Yes, travel buddies. This is babe after a day oh, in Xi'an. It wasn't even a full day, it was about five or six hours, right? Right. So. And we didn't even hardly walk anywhere. <laughs> we took a bike. That was a tandem bike. <laughs> it was a killer under the sun. It was hot. Very hot. Very hot. No, we're sitting having well deserved beer and chips. I'm having that one. And Maybe I have Qingdao. It's having Chinese beer. How is it, honey? Qingdao. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You better start talking Chinese every time he starts. Yeah. They always start talking to him because they're not sure what he is. So, anyway, we're enjoying beer and chips, as I said, by the city wall. That's the city wall. And the beer garden, and it goes all the way back there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, babe, you were saying about your impression of China. What well, do you think now? It's it's highly modernized. It, it, I didn't. I had I had an older version of China before I came here. And I was apprehensive before I got here, because I was thinking everybody was in their drab green uniform <laughs> and the red and the hat with the red star. But it's not like that anymore. It's just like modern China. They got they got they got upper end kind of cars, Audis, Mercedes, BMWs on the street. Everybody drives now, not on bicycles anymore. So there's a lot of younger kids now also doing their own thing. Popular culture, Western influence. They got everything from McDonald's to KFC. What else? Like, and a beer pub. <laughs> and a beer pub. Yeah. And the beer pub. But that awesome walled city, that this fortress that they built inside the, this this wall that they have, it's now a city. It used to be a defense mode. Now it's a tourist attraction. <laughs> Everything's just hunky dory, like they say in America, baby. <laughs> Whew. This is better. I think this is for the whole life. I, my impression. Because I haven't seen Shindu. But I think this is a whole lot better than Beijing. At least what the part of Beijing that I saw. Yes. But we'll see. I, I and see. how about the people? The people are friendlier here. Yes, they for sure some are. Because <laughs> I went I and asked a total random stranger at a hotel. And this is like an information booth for the hotel. They gave me information, wrote it down, took me to a ca to a taxi and rode a little Uber with a mom and pop sitting, driving me around in a little mini Cooper that old, like a 1960 model. Shocks all blown. <laughs> but they found the hotel for me. Awesome. Ain't that something? Awesome. And I use their public transportation. How about that? Instead of taxi. That is the best part of it. <laughs> Babe is a little spoiled. Now I will get in a taxi, horse, buggy, it doesn't matter. You know, I'll save some bucks. You know, I'll, I'll get in there. Babe has to take a taxi and I tried to walk him through the shared ride and he actually took a bus. So I am so proud of you. And you made it. It only took you three hours. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but you made it and that's yeah. the important part. So that is great. I had okay. fun doing it. Good. I had fun doing it. Good. That was all smiles going through. Except, here's the only thing that I have left. There's too much pollution going on right now. Well, that's because it's a lot of traffic and a lot of um, cars and smog and all that stuff, but it's all good. It's all good. So, you say goodbye, travel buddies. Ciao.